Hello everyone. Uh, today we will discuss about a uh, seat belt modeling in LSDyna. For that, this particular file is prerequisite, and uh, I have provided this file in the description section. And uh, this is also available on LSTC website. But I'll explain this in the newer version of uh, Dyna. All right. So once you import this particular file, you need to go to your uh, applications thereafter occupant safety and thereafter you need to go to your seat belt fitting all right for that there will be a two contact segments already available you need to pick up uh, this pelvic one you can pick the nodes uh, to fit uh, your lap belt first you can pick up a node here second somewhere on the pelvic bone let's say somewhere in the middle of this line here and third on your uh, anchor side somewhere here all right then you need to specify the type of belt in a simple belt uh, it will not create a 2d belt here you need to go to mix type where it will create a mixture of your 1d belt there will be a small portion of 1d belt then there will be a 2d belt here and then there will be again a 1d belt the element size they have mentioned is uh, the default is 11 millimeter you need to make it uh, a typical around uh, five millimeter that is a typical element size recommended one belt width is fine then again you need to go here make element with this eight and rest all looks fine and uh, triangle apart from this you need to make your uh, 2d seat belt and check it if it is checked then click on fit uh, you can see now here there is are some section where it is not nicely fit here you can click on stretch option you can see something happened and it is somewhat more uh, better then you can click on accept then you can go to your uh, torso then again you can click on pick nodes you can pick a node here somewhere a node which will pass through your torso in this particular fashion you can pick up a node here or here and of course the last point here then you can click on fit and you can click on then stretch think this looks nice you can accept it and done your seat belt model is done uh, it is also needless to mention that here there must be some constraint nodal rigid bodies that uh, your uh, ls dana your lspp automatically creates you need to check that go to your settings select parts just check your cnrb and there you go these cnrbs are there which is connected to your this seat belt element all right good to go you are good to perform your simulation thank you so much for the listening keep commenting goodbye